Hey Travel Fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mo and today I am going to be giving you all the information you need before you hit up Houston Zoo. So, check it out. The Houston Zoo is open seven days a week from 9 to 5 p.m. They are only closed two days out of the year, which is Christmas and New Year's Eve. You are required to make your reservation online, whether you are a member of the zoo or you are a guest. You must pay online and have your tickets printed out or pulled up on your phone once you make it to the gate to be granted entrance into the zoo. Now, be careful when you're purchasing your tickets online. Don't be like me and accidentally purchase the ticket package instead of general admission. So, the ticket package includes your general admission and unlimited carousel rides. Now, my family, we did not ride the carousel and we had no plans on riding the carousel at all. But because I was not paying attention, I purchased the ticket package. So, if you're not going to ride the carousel, be sure you just do the general admission ticket. So, you won't make the same mistake as I did. I'm going to show you what that looks like so be mindful of that when you're making your reservations online you have to choose a certain time slot time slots start at 9 and the last time slot is at 4 p.m now if you choose 9 you have from 9 a.m to 10 a.m to enter into the zoo once you're inside the zoo you can stay there until closing time which is 5 p.m now, be mindful that there are not an unlimited amount of tickets. There are only 1,000 tickets per time slot, so they can be purchased on a first-come, first-served basis. So, make sure to go ahead and snag your tickets. And you can only purchase 10 tickets per transaction. There are student discounts, military discounts, and Lone Star discounts you should check on their website for more in-depth information about these discounts they tell you which schools are available for the discount and what you have to do if you have a lone star card to get into the zoo they also have a free admission or free tuesdays so one tuesday out of every month they have free admission be sure to check the website also for that information because it tells you exactly what Tuesday they are offering free admission. Save you some money. Make sure that you check the weather channel, you have your weather app and anything else that'll tell you what the weather is going to be because they do not offer refunds or rain checks for any reason at all. So if there is a hurricane going on the day that you're supposed to go to the zoo, just know that you just donated your money to save the whales because you don't get a refund. So plan wisely, y'all. You are allowed to bring in food and coolers. So if you want to save a little money that way and just bring your sandwiches and chips in, then you can do that. But be mindful that you cannot bring plastic straws. You can't have um, glass bottles or alcoholic be beverages. No alcoholic beverages, y'all. No BYOB. They also have a cafe inside the zoo where you can order online and pick your food up. So I think that's a good addition. If you have small children or someone that cannot walk, they have strollers, scooters, wagons, and wheelchairs that you can purchase. Um, there's a little booth right when you get inside the zoo after you pay and you have to pay with a debit or credit card. They, they are not trying to take any cash at all. If you don't like to wear masks, then you don't need to visit the zoo right now because masks for anyone ages 10 and up are required. So I'm sorry, but if you don't wanna wear it, then they don't allow you inside. So put your mask on or stay home. Water Play Park, Playgrounds, the Children's Zoo, and Water Fountains are all out of order, not open. <laughs> so if your kid needs water, make sure you pack some because as I've said before, 
you can bring in outside food and drinks. I hope I've given you all the information that you need before you go to the zoo right now during COVID. If not, you can just, of course, visit their website and get the information that you need to know. Y'all, I almost forgot. Be sure to tune in next week for the actual footage of our trip to the Houston Zoo. You don't want to miss it. See y'all then. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you would like to see more content like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. Until next time, I will see you guys on the flip side. Deuces.